All right, hi guys. Let's get some references in our report. So first, to get references installed in our report, we're gonna have to open up another program. This comes with the Mac package, I assume it comes with PC as well, called Bibdesk, or something similar to this. And this is your bibliography manager. Uh, we are going to create an entry, and I'm gonna call it Reference Zan. It's gonna be a book. The title is gonna be uh, let's give the Chronicles of Tobias. The publisher is in Publishing Inc. Years 2013. Author is Sand B H. Let's go say it was published in July. All right. So we create our entry. I'm going to save this, and I'm going to go into the LaTeX project. I already have a folder here called References, and I'm going to call it Tobias Ref. For, to, for the references for this. So there you go, we save that, close that down. Uh, the file should be in there. All right, so just gonna minimize that for now. Uh, what do we do? So I'm going to include the references at the end of the document after this subsection here. Uh, first I'm gonna clear the rest of the page and then I'm going to uh, specify the bibliography style. I like IEEE. There are different types you can specify. You can look them up. Bibliography. Okay, so in this here, oh, oops, let's just make the text a bit bigger. Okay, so down here at the bibliography, we're going to specify the link to the Tobias reference. So get info. Let's get the references. And then we what did we call it? Tobias ref dot bib. That's the standard. Okay. So now we've built this. Now the bibliography is not going to load because we haven't, if I build this, because we haven't uh, specified a citation anywhere. So let's do that now. So uh, let's, where should I? Let's put a citation here. So the citation here is going to be Zan, just like that. And I had a table that with reference here we go so site ref zan so we got that gone so let's save that and let's build that okay so we have built it and you'll see question mark here and you'll see question mark here and this is where the citation is supposed to go following ieee format and why isn't there because we haven't uh run our bib text yet so uh, next to typeset here you'll have some options go to bib text and build and you build that and it says it's done just gonna and then you go back to LaTeX and build again references on the new page just like I specified page 4 the first one is the Chronicles of Tobias still hasn't populated where it should on the page but one more build and there we go we have reference one and again because we did the hyperlinking one if you click on it, it takes you to the reference is that cool now, let's let's show what happens when we uh, get more references in play here. So I'm going to create another couple references. I'm going to call this ref2. This is going to be our second reference. Okay, and I'm going to save that. And let's get another one. Let's call it ref3. Third reference. And we have our year. Okay, excellent. So now we have some references in our uh, bib desk here. Let's enter reference two. So where was reference one in a caption? I'm lost. I'm not used to reading it with the text this big. Refzan. Okay, so refzan is reference one. What happens if, for example, I put ref two before ref one, which is refzan? If I build that now, question mark, okay, cool, so let's bib desk it. And then go back to LaTeX, build it again, and build it once more. Okay, so now we have it out of order, two and then one. If I click on two, it takes us to our second reference right there. Uh, the way you go about fixing that is you use a package, just like every other problem. So let's uh, create under graphics preamble, uh, bibliography preamble. And what we're going to want to do is use a package, and it's called natbib. And the options that we're going to specify is, with respect to the numbers, we're going to want to sort and compress. 
if I build it now, voila, one and then two. Now another issue that you might run into is, let me just comment this out, or no, I don't even need to comment it out. Okay, so we have one and two. Let's say this uses as a third reference, and I have in the bib desk here reference three. So let's go find where those references are. They are here. Okay, so ref two, and then let's go ref three, and then followed by Zen. If I build this, okay, of course, because we have to re bib tech it. Done that, and latech. And then once more. There we go. So this is where the compress comes into play. Is it allows you to do that hyphen uh, so that it shows up correctly. And of course, in the bibliography section itself, we have all our references automatically built. So that's really quick and easy way of getting uh, references showing up. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get appendices going on in your uh, report. So we have our references. Next appendices. See you then.